And Cassie thinks she wants to go for the 72 ounce steak for free. She's been seeing the signs for like 150 miles. So let's see if she's serious about this. Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. And Ransom, I've had it with Oklahoma. We've had tornadoes, we had strong, super hot heat, we've had a drought, we've had floods last week. I say we leave, what do you think? Yeah. All right, that's it, we're leaving Oklahoma. We're out of here, we're hitting the road. You ready? Yeah. All right, well we already got the car loaded up. You wanna show them, Ransom? Yep. And it's really early in the morning, isn't yeah. it? And guess what? What? So when we went crystal digging, it was like full like this. Ooh, when we went crystal digging, it was completely full. Mama likes to pack, doesn't she? Yeah. If we've learned anything, Mama likes to pack. But we do have plenty of room for a ranger, uh, Ransom and Mazzy. They've got toys and snacks. We've got our um, ice chest back here that we'll talk about a little bit later because it's awesome for a road trip. And we are ready to go, aren't we? Oh, you want to show them our brand new sticker? Yeah. All right, better hop out. Ready? So if you are ever driving along Interstate 40 or maybe I-35 and you see a Honda minivan with this, what do they need to do, Ransom? Subscribe. Subscribe, but also honk and say hi to us, right? So if you guys see that, just give an old honk and wave at us and say hi. And if you see us at a restaurant or something else, come up and say hi. We love to meet subscribers. It's really awesome when we meet some of you guys out and about. So we're going to hit the road because we have to be to Amarillo by almost morning because that's where we're eating lunch. So follow along. Our family is going on one of our 50 states in five years goal. We're trying to meet this goal. So we're taking fall break to knock out three different states. So to find out where we're headed, follow along. So we just got out of the car. We are about two and a half hours from the house, Ransom. You having fun so far? Yeah. Mazzy, you having fun? Yeah. Ranger? Fun? Yeah. And we're about two and a half hours from Amarillo, but we had to stop, stretch our legs, use the potty. So at this Love's Travel Stop, I have seen something today I have never seen before in my entire life. And that is a Sonic. A Sonic restaurant that isn't a drive through. So that is, the, is that a first for you? That is, I didn't even think about that. Yep. I have never seen that before. And since we're on a road trip and this is a common um, theme, bathrooms. How do you rate bathrooms at Love's? Cassie, how would you rate that bathroom? Oh, we were out of loves? Yeah. And I was not even paying attention. Bathroom, 10 out of 10. Our yeah. Sunday school teacher is a manager at loves and he always says they got the best bathrooms. I have to agree. So I was going to give it an 8 out of 10. Pretty good because it is a truck stop and there's probably a lot of men going in and out of that bathroom if well, I had to guess. Women's bathrooms are generally decent. Men's bathrooms, hey. So there you go. If you're headed out on I-40, I Loves is a pretty safe stop because they take really good care of their bathrooms. They have a schedule where they check them pretty often, but first time I ever seen a Sonic that's not a drive-thru.
boy. The big Texan. Look at that big bull. You wanna go pet the cow? Let's pet it. So if you're wondering how far one tank of gas will take you in a Honda minivan, it'll take you to Amarillo. It's time to fill up, but we made it to the big Texan. Whoa. And Cassie thinks she wants to go for the 72 ounce steak for free. She's been seeing the signs for like 150 miles. So let's see if she's serious about this. Clinton area. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe for a few miles, but no, there was no uh, slow traffic. For more than just a little while. So we made it inside the big Texan and right over there, that's the hot seat. So if you're eating the 72 ounce steak, you have to sit there with a timer on and you have to eat it all or you have to pay for it. Cassie, are you gonna order the 72 ounce steak? Well, had I prepared and fasted for three days, I would have tried it. But since I've been eating snacks for the past four hours, I better not. Come on, I think you can do it. I'm gonna go for the buffalo burger instead. It sounds sounds more my style. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have faith in mama? You do it. You don't, you won't even eat steak. I'll do it if you eat a piece of steak. Sure, bring it on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right. You're Your daughter all, said bring it. She's all talk. <laughs> so we are having a good time here at the Big Texan in Amarillo. We uh, met up with some friends of uh, Jeff. He is here from Happy Texas Homestead. If you guys remember the kids getting some leather work um, not too long ago, Mazzy got a cute little purse. You love that, don't you, sis? And Ransom got a belt, and Ranger got something for his dresser to put his um, things on, and it was all really good work. So that was made, handmade, right here. Yes, sir. By Jeff. So if you guys are interested in checking out leather work, maybe for a Christmas present, or maybe you've got um, a anniversary coming up and something like that, go check out. We're going to leave a link to his Facebook. I think that's where you do most of your business, yeah. right? So we'll leave a link to his Facebook and his YouTube channel um, down in the description below. So you guys go and check him out. Um, they're hosting us there, though. He recommended the the big Texan. Yes, sir. I don't think we're going to be disappointed. I've looked at some of the food coming out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in Texas. Boomer Sooner in Texas. We. We got one of them. If we can get the rest of them, we'll, we'll succeed, so. And his wife's here as well, so. Hi. <laughs> She's entertaining Ransom. So we'll show you guys the food as soon as it comes out. So all of the kids' meals came in a hat. So they're gonna have their own hat when we leave here. They'll be excited. Wait to get on the road again. Ready to get back on the road? <laughs> Get him, Ransom, get him. You shooting? All right, keep going, you only got so long. Can you video my horse? Oh, you got it? You got the frog. Good job. I love you. You shot the monkey. Can you, oh, shoot the piano guy, see if he makes noise. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Straight back. See what's back there. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my. I can't see. It's a huge rattlesnake. Is it real? Yeah, it's real. Look at its head. Look, look. It, they are missing. Some letters have fallen. Rattlesnake. Huh? 
Snake. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh, he's moving. Where is he? His belly was moving. to New Mexico. You guys excited? Yeah. You excited, Cassie? My back hurts. Ranger, you excited? I can't walk. <laughs> I'm super excited. We're in New Mexico. Land of enchantment is what I think it said. Rachel, look at that. Oh. what does the land of enchantment mean? Like a slogan? No, it's a nickname. Oh, okay. So, Mazzy said. I learned that in history. Mazzy said it's a nickname she learned in history. But well, we were an hour and a half away from our stop. We we're, did. We're knocking New Mexico off our list, Santa Rosa. So, we're almost there. So we finally made it to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. How excited are you? So excited. <laughs> Matt Ransom, are you excited? Yes, yes, You claim yes, your yes, spot yes, over here? Yes, yes. All right. Walking in, he said, Mama, thank you so much for taking us on this trip. So 580 miles later, we made it to Santa Rosa. And really the only thing that this place is famous for is a place called Blue Hole. Well, if you're from around Mays County, you know Blue Hole is over at Kenwood. And we said, Kenwood's a long ways from here, but apparently there's another blue hole. We're gonna go check it out. Me and Ranger are gonna wear our swimming trunks, even though it's about 65 degrees outside. Polar bear challenge. It might be cold. Polar they say it's fun. like um, as cold as can be. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Um, so you don't wanna miss that. You guys ready? Yay! Yeah, let's go to I'm watching blue hole. So we made it to Blue Hole Park. Mazzy, are you excited? Wait, do we get to play on playground? I don't see one yet. Ransom, are you excited? Yes! So we've heard the blue hole is 80 foot deep. So I think it has rangers having second thoughts about jumping in. But we'll go take a look at it. And hey, I see a depth of 81 feet. So let's check this out. You. you look like a diver. Outflow of 3,000 gallons per minute. Wow. Water temperature is 61 degrees year round. Ranger, you ready to jump in? No, I'm not. Huh? You're not going to jump in? It's really pretty, isn't it, buddy? All right, you ready for this? How cold is it? I don't know, but do you think I can stand up right there? 61 degrees. Seems warm, but it wasn't that warm when we touched it. But 81 foot deep. That's crazy. All right, you ready? ready? All right, y'all ready? Got this. Ready? You have your phone out of your pocket? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. go. Is it cold? Is it cold? <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Take your breath away? Yeah. Like an ice bath? Ranger, come back. <laughs> Are you just going to go for a swim? Yeah. Just hang out. 
All right, let me have my phone. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's about like the other blue hole. Oh, no, it's get out, it's cold. <laughs> I bet. You can, you, I don't know if this is doing it justice if you can pick up the rock colors underneath. <laughs> so to give you the full tour of Blue Hole, 81 foot deep, 61 degrees, we got to give, do it justice. So let's get out here. So hopefully you saw that, it looked good, but we might just jump in one last time before we head back to the pool. Three, two, one, go! Keep up! Really flop! <laughs> hey Daddy, do a cannonball! Do a belly flop! Do a cannonball! <laughs> belly flop! Cannonball! Won't you guys go do that? No. Ranger, was that fun? Yes. Was very fun, wasn't it? So we can't believe how much water flows out of this. And in. It flows out um, at a rate of 3,000 gallons per minute. And when we booked this hotel online, I looked up Blue Hole and I said, Ranger is gonna love that. And I am gonna do it too. So are you glad we did it, buddy? Yeah. Can't miss opportunities like this when they arise because we won't get them very often what if you so i'll show you real quick where the water does flow out at it flows out right over here from the pool pretty cool isn't it yeah all right so that was a full day of vacation lots of miles of traveling lots of hours of being in the car but Lots of coldness. it was really cold and really refreshing to dip in the pool now we're headed back to the hotel because the kids want to take a dip in a different pool so i couldn't get the kids to jump in blue hole but what are you guys ready for I think that says it all. They have been looking forward to this swimming pool all day, mainly because I've been using it for motivation uh, just a little bit longer and we'll get to the swimming pool. So we're finally here. We'll let them swim and I gotta go out and grab the ice chest and get it up to the room. You find your favorite spot? Yeah, can I put, can I put it underwater? You wanna take it under the water? All right, real fast, here we go. You gotta go underwater with it. You just wanted to dip it under the water? You're silly. All right, let's see Ranger. Okay, go for it, son. It's only five foot deep, so no diving. Mazzy, what have you been waiting for all day? Swimming. Is this your favorite? Yeah, we got Yeah. All right. How does it feel? Cold. Cool. So while the kids are swimming, I gotta get the ice chest up to the room. So our Bouge RV cooler slash refrigerator cooler, car cooler, car refrigerator, whatever you call it, it's been great for this trip. So we have drinks. It doesn't even look like we put a dent in that, but we've probably already drank eight or 10 drinks out of it, but we filled it completely full. It has a car charger that we've been using while we're on the road. And when we get to the hotel, it has a plug-in charger where we'll be plugging it in tonight. So 
this thing is great highly recommend it for vacation and trips and camping things like that um, we have uh, links down in our description so if you guys are interested go check it out So we got the um, car refrigerator up here in the room. Got it plugged in, cooling back down. Let's see. These are really good. So they're a sugar free strawberry lemonade. I get them at Sam's Club. If you're looking for an alternative to a sugary drink, but you still want some flavor, this is one of them that works. So let's go ahead, head down, check on the kids, and we're probably gonna call it a night. So the kids had a blast down at the pool, and I went over to McDonald's because, let's be honest, the kids absolutely love McDonald's. They eat chicken nuggets, Ranger likes cheeseburgers, and me and Cassie, we tolerate it. But I did find something new, different, that I've never had at McDonald's before. A green chili double cheeseburger. So that's green chilies chopped up on top of a double cheeseburger. I let Cassie try it, and what did you think? <laughs> he said, it's a little bit spicy, so I took a tiny bite and it lit me up. I settled for the fish sandwich, cause you know, I like weird stuff. So it was a little bit hot, but we wanna give a big shout out right now to the Farm on Route 66. They've been sending us some challenges for our kids. One of them was spot 20 horses on the way here, and they get some extra money for the concession stand at the football game. Also, some fun facts and trivia about um, the Cars movie and some of the things that come from the Route, route 66 um, in their city and on our way here. So the kids are having a lot of fun with that. So thank you guys for thinking of them. And we really appreciate it and can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah, so that's so awesome. Um, that just shows how amazing people they are and how um, good they are with kids to so think of those things to kind of get the kids excited about coming and giving them things to do on this long trip. Uh, we really have never driven this far with the kids. No, 580 miles in one day makes um, a record for our family <laughs> at least, but we had a lot of fun and that's what this is all for. We are doing this intentionally to make family memories, 50 states in five years. So there's gonna be a lot more to come, but we do hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. Now it's time to get some sleep and we just hope that you're enjoying it as much as we are. We hope you guys enjoyed traveling along with us today. We hope you have a great, great day and God bless.